Today is literally a perfect day. It finally feels like spring. I think we have snow in the forecast next week, so it's not gonna stick for long, but today we finally get to do something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time. We've had snow stick around for way longer than we've ever seen here in Colorado, or at least what, what our neighbors tell us that are local to the area. So finally getting to do things, the snow is melted, the ground is pretty much dry, still muddy in some areas, um, but we're just so excited. It's like 50 degrees and sunny. Oh, we're so excited to be out here. The one thing that's been on our list for so long is moving our chicken coop. We, right after the new year, we were super motivated. We wrote down all of our lists of all the things we wanted to get done this year. And the first thing on our list, and the easiest project to take on was building a chicken coop that we're planning to get chickens here in the next month or so. Um, and so we built it in our garage. It's gonna be one of those where it's like a, there's um, space underneath the chicken coop that I can walk around. So we figured, let's just build it. We'll move it when the snow melts. Of course, the snow didn't melt for like two or three months later. So here we are finally moving it down. It looks so cute. I'm so excited to finally see it at the right elevation because it's been so tall sitting in our driveway for months and months and months. So I'm excited to go show you guys. We're going to move it down there. Hopefully it goes well and doesn't tip over. Um, but God, it feels so good for spring and this warm weather and to actually be making progress on this stuff. Yeah. That's good. All right, here goes nothing. It's pretty level. It may need to come down a slight bit on the front, but. Okay. So it's leaning towards you, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably a good idea. All right, down the hill to the garden. It looks like he strapped it up, so hopefully it stays, but oh my God, I'm so nervous. Here he comes. He's being really careful, which I appreciate. We put a lot of work into that chicken coop, so it would not be good. Quickly, come here! Quickly, let's go! Amazon Prime! <laughs> Delivery! <laughs> Alright, so I'm back in the garden area. These are the holes that we dug for it. So Mel has the legs, excuse me, marked out in this general area. Initially, we were digging a little bit too close and we felt like there was enough, wasn't enough room for the chicken run. So we moved it over a little bit. It's probably gonna be about 15 feet off of the garden office. I think it's gonna be perfect. Quigley is so excited for summer. You have your sticks? Get your stick, get the stick. Muddy paws, lots of sticks. She's a happy camper. I hope this goes well. Raising it. Tosses it in the air. I think that 
it's in. Might not be perfectly level, but it's in. It's down. Woohoo! Okay, the chicken coop is in and it looks so freaking cute. I'm so excited. It's perfect. We have like, I think it's roughly 10 to 15 feet between here and where the orchard starts, which is exactly what we want because there's a little bit of a bank. So we want to make sure that there's like flat room for a chicken run. They'll be able to go under it. Right now we have it, I think a little low. We're going to lift it up just to make it a little bit more comfortable for clean out, but it looks perfect. So the things that we're doing right now are just like the minor tweaks with leveling. So right now it kind of feels like it's tilting a little bit this way um, and a little bit back. And then we've also done a quick measurement from where that fence line, which is our property line, and we want it to be 30 feet off that. So this stake here is 30 and I think it's technically at like 28 right now. Okay, so from this angle you can kind of see that 30, this is like a four foot. So um, we basically need to move it over two feet right now um, so that it's 30 and then that will line up perfectly with the little garden office that we're building. Oh, I'm so happy with it. It feels so good to finally have it in this spot, honestly. Just having it out here, being able to see it from our, from our house or our bedroom window just makes me so happy. It looks super cute out here. Quite a bit but we just spent some time basically shoving dirt and uh, wiggling the chicken coop to make it perfectly level it's pretty close I think we're gonna call it good you see putting it on the truss it's pretty close we do that on all sides so I think we feel pretty good about it perhaps we just ran to go get the tractor so that we can easily fill these holes in um, we also moved it forward so it now is at the 30 foot mark and I think we're happy so uh, you kind of see this like front side right here definitely has a lot more dirt so when I stand up to it this isn't like a great depiction but like my knees hit um not my knees but like it's like right above my knees is kind of where the bottom of the chicken coop is when I stand in the back though it's more of like a hip distance which is where I really want it so we're just going to grade all of this dirt out make this flat and then that will be a better stance for cleaning out the coop and by the wind picking up I mean it's just all over the place honestly the worst the wind's not bad it's just really bad when we're digging and all the sand just like smacking you in the eyes that's definitely the worst part but here comes Mal <laughs> he's like I could do this easier we're not doing this with a shovel anymore so we're gonna get this thing dug and into the ground officially This little technique of just pushing the dirt in. Hopefully the wind stays down for a bit while he's doing this, but this method has worked a lot in all of our projects. Oh, 
torture for you honk legs. Alright, we're just testing out the height with this and I feel like this is going to be perfect. I'm pretty short. I'm like 5'2", so this is perfect for me. This is where we're going to get the eggs and then we'll also have little latches on the windows so in the summer we can open these up with a little screen and let some ventilation in. So I feel like this height is going to be really, really nice. I want to get like a, a little handle here so that I can easily pull this because these latches are kind of tight, which is what we want. We want it to be pretty secure, but just for it to be like pulled down easy. With this door, Mal was just making some modifications because it was a little bit snug too, but now it works perfectly. Same thing, I think just getting a little handle will be nice. Um, and it's pretty much like waist height. Probably poke your head in there. Yeah, exactly. Like a little short for me, but like pretty good access. See all the little um, roosting bars and stuff. We might want to oil that up. That's a little spooky, but yeah, this is perfect. I'm really excited to see it at this level, like in the ground now. We got the chicken door. A little chicken door, and this has actually been operational since we put it in, so we'll see. Like in the evenings, this will close. In the morning, it opens up, which is so perfect. And then um, there is a little bit of a gap here just because we wanted it to be off the siding, but we're gonna add our chicken run with a roof. So this is gonna be fully secured. No issues with that too. So it'll be perfect. Yeah, we'll probably just apply some caulking in here just to seal it up. Just yeah. A little bit of a, a, a gap bit of there, a but not too bad. And then we just buried it um backfill the posts we're just gonna water it and compact it over the next few days make sure it doesn't settle thanks so much for watching our videos we're so excited to have the chicken coop finally in its place stay tuned for us building out our chicken run and getting chicks here in the next few weeks we'll see you in the next one